Welcome to the Floral Fantasia area here in the Royal Horticultural Society's gardens at Hyde Hall in Essex. It's 13 months since we first came here and brought uh, close on a hundred new plant introductions uh, and since then uh, this spring added another 20 and I really don't know quite where to start. I mean the pansies that were planted in September, Cool Wave especially, has flowered non-stop and now, even after very high temperature in July, is full of flower. The Austromerias too are unbelievable. The taller Indian summer, and the Interchanta that are shorter, I mean they just flower non-stop. We have new begonias, begonia big, and the white form, a new introduction this year, uh, has a very clean green leaf and a very nice habit. Four new varieties of gerbera, uh, the cheeky series, small flowers, but many, many of them. Uh, and as I say, in four separate colours. We have several new kinds of roses, most of them scented. Uh, and when it comes to fragrance, then the sweet peas, which are now 10 feet high and just going over, they filled the air with fragrance. So in the 10th of October, where they're flowering and given little other treatment apart from some sticks in March, April. And the fragrance continues with a really big group of the Nemesia Penelope. That's a great plant. It will flower non-stop. Really good fragrance. As we have got with the taller cut flower Dianthus, there's three of them, the Bridal Star, Pink Ruffles and Red Carpet. They're tall enough to cut and on a warm sunny day they have beautiful fragrance. Nasturtiums too, we had a big nasturtium trial here last summer and we've just left a patch to self-seed and my goodness don't they give us some colour. You just have to watch for the black fly and the cabbage white butterfly. Uh, control that and you can do it biologically and you have weeks and weeks of really brilliant colour. Must mention too the Rudbeckias, we've got the Fluoroselect Rudbeckia trial, but the double flowered enchantment series uh, bred by Charles Vallin, they are something else, I've never seen plants like that. Oh, and Echinacea moods, the uh, bright orange is a really fantastic plant. If you're anywhere near Hyde Hall, and you're interested in gardening, then do come through the Global Veg Garden up on the left and find all these really quite magnificent new introductions.